what is up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel we will start mi novo based on miui 12 on our redmi note 8 and it's available officially for a lot of devices i already made a review on mi novo room previously when it was on miui 11 and the room is pretty much smooth pretty much great not extra features but all the features are necessary which you get here and i have also used first time mi novo in my miui 12 running device so in this video i'm going to share with you mi novo room which is based on miui 12 as you can see 20.7.16 I'll provide you the official website link so that you can download it for all your device also. Now let's get started. Okay, so as you can see MIUI 12 20.7.16 MI Novo Room I have installed on my Redmi Note 8. I'll provide you the official website link to download for your device. It's based on Android version 10 with the security patch of 1st of July 2020. Which are the best things about MI Novo Room is you get a lot of things. No Chinese apps, no bloatware, you can apply third party themes and a lot more. So let's take a look at all these things now one by one. Okay, so let us start with the camera first of all. We have installed this thing and we have MIUI 12 camera pre installed as expected. It's based on official build, so we have all the working modes here ultra wide, portrait mode, video, pro mode, and almost everything here. If you go here, you have the full resolution images options, like in full camera resolution, you can choose here, go to settings, and here. We have watermark option and when you go to customize option go to camera modes you get both two camera modes options available which i was expecting and it's finally officially available here go to more panel select this more panel and then whenever you choose options when you want to choose options just swipe up from there and you will get all these options available here which looks better than just swiping right and these kind of things so this is kind of good thing now let's move on to other things Okay, so talking about the theme store, we have the Chinese theme store available as expected. When you go to my account, we have the option of choosing the theme components in which you can customize your log style, status bar, messaging icons, dial pad, favorite strip, boot animation and a lot more things. These are the things you get here. No ads and no blotter is one of the great things about this build. Just go to theme store and one of the best thing is you can import the third party themes without having any issues. Just go to import option here, go to your selected file. So I have an SD card. Just go to download option where you have downloaded that. So let me just apply this one which is lron.mtz. I'll provide you this themes link in the description. So if you want to use this, then you can use this one. The theme is one of the great themes. As you can see, it's applying very, very easily without having any issues. As you can see, we've just applied this. Now let's move on to the home screen. And as you can see, this is how this theme looks. We didn't need any MIUI theme editor or anything and it's applied successfully and also we don't need any reboot as you can see our status bar, icons, widgets, everything is just changed. This is also one of the greatest features of MI Nouveau Room. Because if you talk about other things when you go to homes, when you go to phone app, click here and you get the conference call option available here. And when you go to settings and advanced settings, we also have the maximum brightness on the call option available, which was available in MI room room. And you also get the night mode option, which you can choose the start mode or end time. You can choose the maximum brightness. This is kind of great thing, which was available in settings, but we get this option in the phone settings directly instead of in main settings option. Okay, so as I already told you, you don't get any extra features in settings. So if you go to connection and sharing, we have the me share option as expected. This was expected also and we don't get AOD option for it. We noted, but for your device, maybe you will get there. Lock screen have all the main features, launch camera and pocket. Moving on to display option, we have the reading mode, we have the dark mode as expected, adjust wallpaper to dark mode option. And here we got the Milan Pro fonts as it's based on MIUI China beta, so it was expected also. And control center and status bar have some features including view of the control center and use new control center and action button mobile data. When you click on mobile data, you want to choose mobile network or network type. It's all depends upon you switch grid. If you choose the MIUI 11 
switch style which means actually MIUI 11 control center or quick settings then you will be able to choose these kind of things some other things include height graphical indicator height notch etc and all other things are just same like sound and vibration notification home screen have a little bit of customization options which include number of columns in folder and global icon animation was also available in all other pairs themes i have already shown you password security also have the same features password fingerprint and face lock privacy battery and performance have same things additional settings has these kind of things full screen display accessibility developer options and in special features we have the floating window and game turbo all these same things i have already shown you you can check out the screen time also and all these things you get in miui novo based on miui 12 these were just the things i just want to share with you i'll provide the direct link for downloading this build for your device this was all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye. Have a nice day.